Hey, how's it going, docs? And welcome to another video of Dr. V. And today, you don't want to miss out. It is the first episode of the first season of Myth Busting. And today's topic will be, do cold temperatures really make people sick? Recent studies suggest there is, in fact, building the suspension, no correlation between colds and cold temperatures. The key player in colds is a virus. You may wonder what is the size of a virus and I'll tell you right now it's very small. If you take the diameter of a single human hair strand, divide that by 10, you'll get the size of a cell. Divide that by 10, you get a bacteria cell. Divide that by 100, you get a virus cell or a virus. So that is 10,000 times smaller than the diameter of a human hair strand, which is microscopic. It is just incredible. It's insane. Now the structure, there are two main components of a virus. One is a nucleic acid. It is the genetic coding of the virus. It tells it what to do, just like the human brain, just like <laughs> human brain. I'm talking like I'm an alien like our brain tells our body what to do. So it is the control center. And the second component is a protein coat. It's called the capsid. And basically like we take a coat to protect us from rain, the virus has a capsid which is made out of proteins which helps it survive in new environments. So now that we are familiar with the structure and the size of a virus, Let's talk about how it attaches to a cell. So first of all, it's important to know that viruses attach to living cells and they can only reproduce within living cells. So they need a host. A host is an organism or a species which provides it nutrients which lets it grow and reproduce and divide. What happens is the virus binds to a receptor site on a cell. Different viruses bind to different receptors, different viruses love different parts of the organism. So for example, a virus which can cause a cold may love to bind to liver cells. So therefore, if you just want to go on a short walk or a hike and it's not even that cold outside, don't worry about finding all of the winter gear and you know, making it impossible to breathe. Just wear what you like. Just make sure that you're comfortable. It's within your temperature range. The next time somebody tells you that you have to equip yourselves with 20 plus kilograms of winter clothing when going outside on a relatively warm day, I'd say about zero degrees Celsius, then tell them what you have learned. If they still don't believe you, tell them to look at this video Maybe they'll be persuaded. And if they still don't believe you, ask them to actually try it out for themselves. As we learn about science through real life experience and somebody must have done it. As for now, thank you for watching. Be sure to give a thumbs up, subscribe, as we will be discussing many more things regarding myths and winter. Thank you docs, stay healthy. Wow, look at my shoes, they're so... I don't know if you can tell, but... Oh, wow!